please. Mary Sim, Dallas City Manager. Laurie Evans, Director of Libraries in Dallas. Uh, thank you both for joining us. Now, Mary, you're City Manager in one of the largest jurisdictions in America. You've got uh, like a million different things on your plate. So why do you care enough about libraries to travel to Phoenix to be a part of this program? Well, I came up in libraries. I believe libraries are a critical part of any city structure. We've been spending time talking about that and the options and the opportunities are for libraries. Um, educating city managers about that's important um, and listening to the other opportunities that we could use from other libraries is just a good way to spend our time. Yeah, so do you get a sense that city managers do fully appreciate what libraries can be in their communities? <laughs> if you want an honest answer, you want. No, I don't think so. Probably, and probably nobody. No, I mean, nobody at the city manager structure has a full appreciation. I have the advantage of having come through that, but um, you've got too many things distracting you, and you can always take the time you need to think about what the possibilities are for libraries and for some other functions of your city, too. So I think something about this is important. So I'm going to consider that, look at that, remind yourself that this is a very critical, critical, critical part of your operation. Much more difficult during an economic downturn. It's easier to say, you know, well, here's the, what we call the essential services, police and fire, and not pay the attention we need to to the services that are really our infrastructure, that are our, our base, our foundation. So, Laurie, what makes the Dallas Public Library? a core service during these difficult economic times? Well, I don't think it's just during these economic times. I think we are a core service uh, in good times and bad. Uh, I think that everything that you want to sustain in a city, whether it's public safety or economic development, has as, at its base a literate community. In order to do that, you need a strong library system. Have you seen a change in demand for library service or library patrons during the economic downturn? Absolutely, we have, uh, along with libraries across the country, and as we've heard today. Um, historically, when the economy is down, uh, libraries have great usage. So, Mary, how do, you, how do you prioritize libraries against fire and police and public works and other things? Now, Dallas has not been immune to the down economy, has it? No, I think it's had less impact on us than it has on some other communities. Um, and we're adding police and fire officers. But, and the library has had to have some cuts, and that's an unfortunate thing. We, hope, we certainly hope it's temporary. Um, the community was unhappy, and so that's a good thing. The community brings attention and prioritization to libraries in our city. Um, the, also the reminder that this kind of experience brings to me and to the other city managers, county managers are sitting in the room with the significance of libraries. So Laurie, tell us a little bit about the project you did through ICMA and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Oh, well, it, it gave us a wonderful opportunity to take an initiative that we had started in Dallas, uh, built around pre-literacy skills for our young people. Um, it, Grant gave us the opportunity to kick it up a notch to, to the point where it has just really taken hold within the community. What it does is it works with caregivers, uh, be it parents or daycare workers, that, that touch the lives of our youngest children and prepare those children by the time they get to the classroom to be successful throughout school. So how many lives are you touching through this program? Well, we uh, launched the program um, in March of um, 2008 and to date we have touched about 40,000 children. So I mean it's just been an amazing experience for us. Yeah. And we're in, a, we're in a city that does not, schools are not a part of our structure. Right. Schools are independent of the city. And at the same time, you know, if the schools are not working well, um, nothing that we do makes any difference. And so I'm particularly fond of programs that we can be supportive of the schools without actually being a part of the school, um, can enhance the jobs they're doing in kind of the natural course of our business. And this one really does. And 
we know libraries do, but this one takes it one step farther along in the preparation of kiddos to be ready to read. So what difference do you think it'll really make? I mean, what's the real impact of this on your community? Um, more people that graduate from high school, bottom line, more people that are employable, um, more people that are employable, I have a better economic base. I mean, it is the most fundamental thing that we can do to improve the workforce, improve the economics of Dallas. Now, it's long term, but it's also long lasting. One last question, Laurie. Is it a blessing having a city manager that was in the library, or is it just put a lot of pressure on you? <laughs> No. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like, <laughs> have you stopped beating your wife kind of question, you know? Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing, okay? It's a blessing from the sense that you don't have to explain uh, your business, number one. Um, and it's, it's, it's a blessing in the sense that um, because she understands our business, there's an inherent trust in letting us do what we do best, and that allows us to be successful. Thank you very much, and Mary, thank you for being here. Dallas, and you in particular, have a, a tremendously positive reputation around this country, just given the size and scope of what you do and the quality of what you've done, and uh, you set a really good role model for the other people that are part of this program. We appreciate your participation. Thank you. Thank you.